Sonia Sidibe got her Durban July dress here. The stars of Generations and Sylvan Delan have worn a number of her best garments. And then again, when Tandi Masondo wears them herself, she's probably her own best advert for her fashion studio collections. This is just the perfect closet for any girl. You know what's nice about it is that when you walk in, you look at around and you say, if I need a cocktail dress, I've got it. I'm attending a wedding and I need a dress, I've got it. So yeah, it is the perfect closet. And what advice would you have for any girl that stepped into fashion studio collection and said, Tandi, make me look gorgeous? You've always got to be different, got to be comfortable, got to look fabulous. You must feel the dress. When you walk out of a store, it mustn't just be sold to you. You must just feel that I bought the right garment. Tunde is so close to each item she sells as she's the one who does all the boutiques buying. Any day of the week, you might find First Lady Tobeka Zuma or Three Talks No Lean shopping here. On the day we visited, it was entrepreneur Zama Ngabani who's engaged to spin doctor Zizi Kodwa. I'm very excited. The dress is stunning, as you can see. Um, it's more of a princess dress, which is, I think, I deserve to be a princess for a day. We wondered if Tandi lives a little vicariously through all these creations. Secretly. <laughs> Look, um, when you look at a bride putting on a gown, it's like a fairy tale, you know, and I think that fairy tale lives in all of us where we, we just want to see ourselves looking pure, looking angelic, looking, you know, and you, you just want to do your wedding all over again. Yeah, so I do. And what kind of lady would want to wear a bridal affair dress? The woman that has got class style, that's sophisticated, that's got allure, somebody who really wants the finer things in life, that's the woman that I'm talking to. So Zama, you definitely must be that girl. <laughs> definitely. Tandi doesn't decree what you should wear. If her yoga classes have trained her mind towards anything, it's how to arrive at the perfect solution with her clients. I'm a bit biased to this dress. It is exquisite on you. Yeah, absolutely. Yes, I love it. It fits well, it's beautiful, it's lighter, and I'm more comfortable on it than it looks, the first one. It looks better on her because there's not a lot of fabric. She's a bit small in frame, but it shows off her body very nicely. Tandi, do you design the dresses yourself? No, I actually don't design the dresses myself at all. I import. I've actually just signed up a partnership with a guy from Teki. His collection is called Kenka Couture, but I do a lot of other designers as well. However, if you've got your own uh, design that you'd like us to make for you, we can have it made for you. Her aim is to increase her locally produced pieces to at least half of her range, which will require more turnover. And nothing gets attention quite like the launch of a bridal couture collection. Rosebank was buzzing even more than usual. Tandy, it's one thing having to prepare for an event, but being the host must be quite stressful. Yeah, you know what, I'm a little bit nervous, but I think this is something mild compared to planning your own wedding, so yeah, I'm okay. What are you hoping people will take away from tonight? Look, tonight is about me, really. It's about proving to myself that nothing is impossible. I think people, more than anything else, they'll walk away with the fact that it was fabulous. They saw beautiful dresses and stuff. But for me, I'll get a lot of contentness from it. It was quite an opening, and the fashion was every bit the equal of its trumpeting. The big idea is options, to revolutionize what is available to South African brides and to introduce international inspiration. Helping to get the message across were a serious A-team of celebrity models, from presenter Pubby Malloy and Miss Earth SA Nondi Zingwa, to actress Lorato Malloy, who's about to tie the knot with Colin Mashawane. I loved the dress that Pabi Malloy wore, the one that has the diamantes and the pearls. Oh my gosh, drop dead gorgeous. I love this dress that I'm wearing. I love the dress that Matapa is wearing. So it might be one of those three or two of those three. Did you hear her? She says she's getting two wedding dresses. While all of us try for one, Lerato's gonna rock up with two. I love that. As well as Turkey, Tundi sources from New York, Hong Kong and Brazil. One prominent fashionista in the audience was more focused on the local content and a toast to where SA Fashion is headed. It was a very good uh, fashion show done by one of our own and uh, exposing the talent that is there uh, amongst our people. Uh, you'll even think for a moment that uh, you are out of this country. Already a magnet for anyone after an exquisite evening gown or cocktail dress, now Tunde's boutique will draw this whole other market. 
And both radios Bailey Schneider and TV's Sonia Sadiba insist the only way from here is up. This dress has been hand beaded with every single Swarovski crystal. It took about two weeks of solid work to do, which has been incredible. And to be a part of the FS Collection Bridal Show has been an absolute honor and a huge congratulations to Tandy. Words cannot begin to describe how I feel about her as a sister, as a woman, as a businesswoman. And she's going places. I mean, this is the beginning of great things to come. How do you feel about tonight? It was just, oh, it was like heaven. I'm still catching my breath, but I'm really blown away. I promise you, even I myself feel that, you know, I'd have out down myself. There's so much of that irrepressible Tandi Masondo spirit in every piece. And that's something you feel without even seeing the label.